So let's take a look at the intro. Okay, we got big E and we got the B note here. You could do it down here if you want. And then we got this little riff. So that's the two sevens. We're gonna be dealing with the second string and the third string. We got sevens, and then we got six and five, four and three to the twos. Come back to that four and the three. So all together be. D, A, E, twice as long for the E, D, A, E, now we go, so that's a C sharp power chord, 466, 244, you could also just kind of strum it like that, it's like a C sharp 5 to a B5. be the whole verse here. E again, a little piano fill. This time we got C sharp 5, B5. Now in this third one you're going to add this little run. So that's 2 to 1 on the G string, and then 2 to 4 on the D string, back to that G sharp note, first fret G string. Then we're going to go to F sharp minor, 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, to an A, and then we got this little riff. So it's kind of like a B7 sharp 9. It's 2, 1, 1. So going down each string, 5th string, 4th, 3rd, then to the 2 on the 3rd string, down to the 3 on the 2nd string. So 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. And then coming back, you're going to have the 1-2 on the G string to the 2 on the D string. So it's... I kind of roll that finger over to get that last one. Then we come into... And that's an E7-9 chord. I don't hear him really hitting the high one, so you might just kind of do up to the 9 there. So that'd be like 7-6-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. With the big string open. The G... G, down to D, C, E minor, C again, so first we hit an A power chord, and then we hit like an A sus 2, which is like open 2, 2, open, kind of hammer back into that 2 of the A. Kind of goes to that open sus two, bum, 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 hammers into the regular A. Before these, and you go through all the exact same chords. So I'm going to jump ahead to the guitar solo then. E minor pentatonic kind of scale getting started here. We got second string, 15, bending up, going down to the 12 with the pull off, going back up with vibrato. Now, same type of thing on the 14th and 12th and the G string. And then same type of thing on the 11 and the 9. Then we're going to have... So we're going to have this bend on the 14th fret. I like to use the middle finger because it frees up the third finger for this 15 coming up. So, so you bend that one up, hit the 12 on the second string, back to the 14, and then a pull off on the 15, 12. Then you got 15, 12 down here. So that was third string, 15, 14, 12, pull off. And then 14, little bend on the 12, back to that 14 on the D. And then we're going to have, so that's going to be a 14 going up on the G string. 
kind of a pull off to a 12 to that other 14. Now we're going to have this interesting thing. So we're going to bend this 14 up. We've got to hold this 12 with the first finger. We're going to bend the third string, 14th fret, with the 15 on the second string. So we're going to go bend and then one, two, three of those. And then all the way down to the smallest string. And then we're down here on the fifth fret. So we're kind of in G minor pentatonic right there. So we're bending the fifth in little vibrato. And then six on the second string, three on the first string. Kind of a three here in the second, one more bend. And then we got these last three notes. So that's three on the G, five on the A, three on the D. So let's see what we got so far. So we're going to slide into the second string and third string, fours to fives. Kind of hammer into that eight on the second string. Now that's sliding into the nine of the D string. And then seven, nine on the G, back to that nine on the D. And then we're going to take that. So we got this nine to seven to five. Seven, seven, five, and then seven over the fifth string, five to seven, to the big one open. Then we have a trill here, seven and nine on the G string. Then we're gonna have this double slide, twelves to fourteens, and then nine and ten on the second string and third string up to eleven and twelve. And then on the middle strings, we got sevens. We got a hammer on, pull off. We got the sevens going on the middle strings. Hammer on, pull off on the D string. So we got. Now we got nine and 10 here, hammering on to the 11 and off. Now in this one, we're in the bigger strings. We're hammering these nines into a 12 on the D string. And then to the 11. So you can kind of hold that one down. And then we got nines to twelves, and then nines to elevens. And then this last thing, we're going to have nine and twelve. We're going to make kind of a chord. So it's a chord each time. It's like nine, ten, twelve, nine, ten, twelve, nine, tw ten, and then twelve to the 9-10. That starts a bridge. A major 7. The way I'm doing it here is 5 and then skip the A, mute the A, and then 6-6-5-3. Six, six, G sharp minor 7. 4-6 and 4 is all the way. Back to A major 7. C sharp minor 7. Down a string, which is 4-6-4-5-4. Uh, four, four, four. And then F sharp minor 7. 2-4 two, and all 2s. To the A. And then that riff. Seven nine G A back to G and then the D. So things like that with the D, you can do that like ten ten, bend the nine up, use these sevens with those that kind of thing. C Cool little riffs you can do there too, kind of sliding in on the A string, five to seven. You got these fives in here from the C chord. You can do some of those little tricks. And then E minor. Back to C. A power chord. A sus. And then we're back to that riff. And then at the end of the song.
All right, Ricky Don't Lose That Number, Steely Dan, Jeff Skunk Baxter on the guitar solo. Please like and subscribe, and we shall see you soon. Thanks a lot.